I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. <laughs> So here we are once again, this time of season and off season, this point where Kirk Cousins always shows up and shows out. <laughs> now, he ain't going to give you his A game on an early or primetime playoff game first round. Oh, no, nah, baby. <laughs> he ain't going to give you his A game on that one. But he'll give you his A game March, March Madness, huh? when it's time to talk money. When it's time to talk Guapino, right? Huh. When it's time to talk about him getting over, committing pure highway robbery, right? <laughs> and when it's time to talk about Kirk Cousins and his plans for the future, you know. Even though he's made damn near close to a billion already, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Playing for the Vikings, right? <laughs> Come on, man. No, he's saying 90, 90 mil, two-year guarantee, but... Good news is, good thing is, speculations, rumors, news. <laughs> the Vikings will not, I repeat, will not <laughs> give Kirk Cousins, <laughs> huh, Heffy, <laughs> that courtesy. No guarantee, and I love it. <laughs> I won't even say I like it. I love that shit, baby. It's a shine, it's a sign that shows, you know, growth from crazy. You know, it shows him not being bamboozled. Maybe he's finally understanding, getting in his groove, really understanding the moves, the maneuvers he will have to make. Huh? Dig me, you get my drift? To build a Super Bowl contending team, you dig me? <laughs> oh, yeah, man, have you? <laughs> no way around it, right? <laughs> he's going to have to make some major moves. And I think he finally understands that. And not only that, with that being said, huh? I think the Wilfs might have finally pulled their head out of their asses, right? <laughs> yeah, heavy, though. So we could really be getting a full collaboration. Maybe we can finally see it at full goal, full spectrum, huh? <clears throat> but Quasi got a lot of work to do. But the fact that they are denying Kirk Cousins guaranteed money, <laughs> please let him walk. Please let that, please let that punk walk. No disrespect, man, but I'm talking facts. And Kirk has gotten over too much for too long. And he has shown his true colors, dog. He's hiding behind an image, dog. And it's so clear to see, right? <laughs> but them not guaranteeing Kirk Cousins. Maybe even will prove to Justin Jefferson, hey. <laughs> all right. Maybe they're ready to spring some of that extra bread. <laughs> huh? And if not, he wants to follow behind Kirk. Go ahead, period. No disrespect, much respect for Jettas, but he want to roll with Kirk and play that game, bet. Get up out the building then, dog. I ain't got no picks heavy, man. Get up out the building. Would love to see him retire a Viking, dog, win a Super Bowl, make history. But, hey, if he don't want to be that dog, let him go, bro. Period, bottom line. He think the grass may be green on the other side. Let him go over that end, baby, just like Kirk Cousins, man. At the end of the day, that just proves, hey, <laughs> maybe they're really not as loyal to the Vikings, to the team, brotherhood, relationships, as they really say they are, baby. <laughs> maybe it is all rigged. Maybe it is all a gimmick and a hype, baby. <laughs> they're just there for a fucking payday, huh? <laughs> hey, man, it is what it is, though. <laughs> but KOC... Must be realizing as well, because I'm sure, you know, I'm sure Kevin O'Connell has been in Quazy's ear, maybe even the Wolf's ear. Like, all right, hey, bro, I like Kurt, you know, good guy, this and that. I, I may want him to stay around because I have no other options right now. Maybe we can't trade up. Maybe it's not uh, plausible at this moment, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe no one will want to trade with us just like last year. So I'm kind of looking at Kirk as a, you know. Just a last minute emergency if he's needed. Cause let's be real crazy. We ain't got no quarterback, bro. We ain't got no quarterback, bro. You know? 
Hopefully, hopefully they can have real conversations, you dig me? Like this and really speak to each other. Unless it's all a gimmick. But he's like, hey, man. So really, right now, we may have to keep Kurt, bro. But he's not that. If you can find a way to get his ass up out of here, I'm cool with him leaving. Man. <laughs> Heavy. I'm cool with him leaving. <laughs> Period. Bottom line, huh? I mean, for all we know, Kevin O'Connell is ready to identify that quarterback. He got somebody in mind. Rumors are they, they want to trade up, so that's all good. So you can tell, man, the table is turning, the, the tides are turning, dog. KOC is be becoming like, hey, all right, yeah. Yeah, Quasi, you want this dude up out of here? Me too, but right now, I'm just using, like, I just need him right now just in case things fall through, dog. <laughs> just in case teams don't want to play fair ball and we stuck with Kurt. Because definitely don't want to be stuck with who? Jaron Hall, Joshua Dobbs, Nick Mullins, even though I still say get Kirk up out the building and zone in on Joshua Dobbs. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Zone in on Joshua Dobbs. You got to back up in Jaron Hall and KOC try to work his magic, you know, shoot for next year for a quarterback. Of course, that's worst case scenario. But me, I want I want Kirk out of there by any means, baby. I don't care what the scenario is, my opinion. I don't care if Jaron Hall got to be a starter. Man, get Kirk up out of there, dog. Start rebuilding this team. Start with these trenches. Get some cornerbacks, some elite cornerbacks in here, bro. Attack free agency, et cetera, et cetera. Attack that draft. Period, bottom line, bro. <laughs> but yeah, great news, great sign, man. Great sign that they are not guaranteeing Kirk Cousins money because he don't deserve it, man. Enough is enough. The jig is up. The jig is over, right? At least we hope so, huh? Man, it's like, how long do you go catering to a guy who brings you nothing, brings you mediocrity? Average quarterback, man. Let's be real. Let's talk facts. Average quarterback, duh. He ain't, he ain't lead nobody to the Super Bowl. People talking about if Kirk Cousins was on the Niners, they would have went all way. Cap, bro. <laughs> they would have beat the Chiefs. Cap, bro. <laughs> talking about they would have beat the Chiefs, huh? How, man? They had more of a chance with Brock Purdy than Kirk Cousins, and that's facts. I'm taking Brock Purdy over Kirk Cousins any day, dog. I don't care what nobody say how you feel about it, man. <laughs> Give a damn what nobody say or how you feel about it. Heavy, dog. Kirk Cousins has been getting over too long and for too many years, bro. So I'm glad, finally, man. Finally, maybe the wolves are waking up. Maybe they're finally accepting the fact that they got to let Kirk go. It's other players that deserve guaranteed money. Jettas, Darasol. Even though it's a big course done about Darasol's health. Can he stay healthy, right? But you know the talent. You know what he brings to that left tackle position. Best in the NFL, damn near. Close to it. Maybe what, behind Trent Williams? <laughs> He's going to keep improving, keep getting better, dog. You already overpaid a tight end. You already overpaid a tight end, baby. <laughs> Let's not keep making the same mistakes, right? Just giving money away. Get Kirk out the building, man. So I'm glad it's no guarantee. And I'm sure Kirk Cousins and his feelings, oh, they don't want to guarantee me my money. I'm out the door. I'm out the door. Get out of here then, boy. <laughs> Bye. So I'm glad the Vikings putting their foot down. You know, Kirk probably sitting back feeling like the Vikings need more. They need me. <laughs> Who they got back there? Jaron Hall? <laughs> Who they got back there? Joshua Dobbs? <laughs> oh, yeah, they going to bow down to me. Man, forget that, bro. Cap. Get about the building, Kirk. Guess what? You're getting no guaranteed money after this. Period, dog. Get up out of here. We got to sign Jettas, bro. We got to sign Darisol, bro. Come on, man. Let's be real. All this cap, bro. So shout out to the Vikings. You know, Wilfs. Quasi O'Connell, you know, I speak, I speak my opinion about him, but when props are due, props are due heavy, man. I'm a true fan here. I want to see them boys win top to bottom, dog. <laughs> heavy, you hear me? <laughs> Score Vikes forever, man. Win, lose, or draw. When they, when they do stupid, dumb decisions, I'm going to call it out, baby. But guess what? When they make smart moves, make smart decisions, got to give props when props are due, dog. Heavy. 
Hands down, man down. 1,000, 1,000, huh? Hey, man, fire them comments up. Let's get to it. <laughs> you agree or disagree? Big score here, man. Score fights forever. Yeah. <laughs>